All right, here's the million dollar question. Should you stick with your DJI Mini 4 Pro or start saving up for the Mini 5 Pro? You know how it is. New tech drops, hype explodes, and suddenly you're wondering if what you have isn't good enough anymore. But is the Mini 5 Pro really worth ditching your perfectly capable Mini 4 Pro? Today, we're breaking down exactly what's new, what's hype, and what's actually worth your upgrade money. And trust me, the last section of this video might surprise you because there's one tiny speck that could completely flip this debate. Let's not rush into the future just yet. The Mini 4 Pro is still a beast in its own right. It weighs under 249 grams, which means in most countries, you skip the extra paperwork and fly hassle-free. It's rocking a 1-slash-1.3-inch CMOS sensor with f1.7 aperture, 48-megapixel RAW photos, dual native ISO, 4K at 60 frames per second, HDR video, and even 4K at 100 frames per second slow motion. Translation, stunning detail whether you're chasing sunsets, flying over cityscapes, or filming your buddy's mountain bike jumps. Add in omnidirectional obstacle sensing, active track 360 degrees and 20 kilometer FHD transmission, and suddenly this pocket-sized drone feels like it should cost twice as much. And don't forget flight time, 34 minutes on the standard battery or up to 45 minutes with the plus pack. For casual flyers and creators, that's already more than enough to nail your shots without battery stress. So yeah, the Mini 4 Pro still slaps. The question is, can the Mini 5 Pro really outshine it? So why is the drone community buzzing? Enter Jasper Ellens, a reliable leaker in the drone space. He shared rumors of a prototype spotted in China, yes, by a random mountain biker with a sharp eye and a camera. And this source? Apparently I've never been wrong before, naturally that got everyone's attention. The buzz? The Mini 5 Pro could bring a 1-inch sensor, LiDAR-assisted obstacle avoidance, vented motors, and potentially longer flight times. These aren't just minor tweaks. If true, they're the kind of upgrades that shift how you actually use the drone, especially in tougher flying conditions. The rumored upgrades are seriously exciting. LiDAR sensors could be the standout, cutting through shadows and low light to make flights safer and more reliable. A 1-inch sensor would mean better low-light performance, wider dynamic range, and richer detail, perfect for creators who love to push their footage in post. Vented motors may sound minor, but they could deliver more wind resistance, higher speeds, and longer air time. And with leaks, pointing to up to 52 minutes of flight on the Plus battery, that's essentially two Mini 3 or 4 flights in one. On paper, it feels like the ultimate travel drone. Though, of course, rumors aren't specs, and real-world performance can tell a very different story. Now, here's where it gets juicy. The mini-series lives and dies by its sub-250 gram weight. It's the magic number that means fewer regulations, less paperwork, and more freedom. The good news? Leaks suggest DJI is keeping the Mini 5 Pro under that weight, at least with the standard battery. But here's the catch, those longer plus batteries. They might push it over 250 grams, and once you cross that line, you could face stricter flying rules depending on your country. For casual flyers, that convenience matters more than an extra 20 minutes of airtime. So, while new features are cool, the weight category might actually be the most important spec of all. Do you really need the Mini 5 Pro? If you're happy with the Mini 4 Pro, probably not. It's lightweight, reliable, and shoots pro-level footage. More than enough for most vloggers, hobbyists, and weekend flyers. But if you shoot in low light, edit heavily in post, or want the best obstacle detection, the Mini 5 Pro might be worth the wait. The key question isn't new toy syndrome. It's whether the rumored upgrades actually solve problems for your style of flying. Newer doesn't always mean better. Sometimes sticking with what already works is the smartest move. The Mini 4 Pro is still one of the best lightweight drones out there. But if DJI brings LiDAR, a 1-inch sensor, and longer flight time under 250 grams, the Mini 5 Pro could be the most tempting yet. 
If you need a drone now, grab the Mini 4 Pro. If you can wait and want the latest tech, the Mini 5 Pro might be worth it. So, are you team upgrade now or team stick with what works? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell.